And that lineup is going to face Nasty Nestor Cortez. He's an all-star, as we mentioned, seven and three in 16 starts, 2.74 ERA. Looped into center, Judge coming on. That falls on in, base hit. Little fisted job into right center, base hit. India through second, slams on the brakes, and right Carpenter bounces a throw to second, two on. So now it'll be Joey Votto with runners at first and second base and one man out. Yeah, and the pitch swung on, hit high in the air to deep left center. Back goes Gallo on the track, makes the catch one step away from the wall, just where the visitor's bullpen begins. Soft ground ball is short. Gonzalez goes across the diamond, and that will do it. So Cortez works out of trouble. Red Strand two, and the New York Yankees coming to bat. The Reds have on the mound Luis Castillo. If you're a Reds fan, I think you have to enjoy this kind of matchup for Luis Castillo. 3 1 is outside. LeMahieu walks to begin the game. 0 1. Grounded third. Drury on. Calmly gathers. Quick feed to India. Relay not in time. Judge is big, but he can also run. And that is rocked to right center field. Stuart Fairchild back on the track, makes the catch. Judge halfway jogs back. Three balls, two strikes on Stanton. Runner on at first base with two outs. And Castillo readies and fires. The pitch is cut on and missed. There's the changeup, and it was a good one. Diving down and out of the zone, swinging right through it. Giancarlo Stanton as Castillo picks up his first strikeout. The 2-2. Two -two. Fly ball. Right field deep, Carpenter back on the track at the wall, he makes the play! Just his fourth start in the outfield, and he ran it down for the second out. Carpenter saying, are you kidding me? Cortez is loving it. I mean, this is actually a really good play. Gets a good jump on it, has no clue where the wall is. That kind of production out of your fastball when everybody in baseball knows you've got one of the best changeups in the game, uh, <laughs> the numbers tell a story after that. And there is strike three called as he dots 99 top of the zone near the edge of the plate. Off the end of the bat of Gallo, India takes command. An efficient one, two, three inning. Now coming into this game, yeah. Paul LeMayu, 371 on base percentage. And that's good for 11th in the American League. He's been getting on base a lot. Outfield playing a little bit towards right field and deep. Pitch to Judge, swung on, hit the left field. There goes Fan back, but playable right in front of the warning track. He'll catch that one and put it away for out number three. Three of the book here at Yankee Stadium. Payoff. Stevenson smokes it to left field. That's down base hit. Gallo's got it on a hop. Stevenson, a line drive, two out single. Here is the 0-1, and there's a one hopper to short. Gonzalez feels and throws in time. Is very softly hit. No runs, one hit, and one left. At the end of three and a half, no score. 0-2. Oh, and he struck him out. That's some serious blue by you right there. We were talking about fastball location earlier. That was pristine. 0-2. Oh, See ya. Strike three, call. Bottom of the order gets aboard. Now you roll it right back over to the top. And he gets hit by pitch. That's going to load the bases. Carpenter cannot throw. He couldn't throw when he was playing third base for the Cardinals. If you've got a ball that's hit the right field or the right center field gap, you need to be taking advantage of it. First pitch, Drury swings, lifts it to right. Carpenter coming on, slow some near the chalk. Fair ground makes the catch. Tag at third, tag at second. Throw to the plate, no shot. He was caught indecisive as Senzel scores. Fairchild to third, and the Reds have a 1 0 lead on the sack fly RBI from Brandon Drury. The 1 2. Boy, they're really testing out Carpenter, and he makes a catch for the final out. But the Reds get a run on one hit. They leave two. We're halfway through. one nothing Reds. So D.J. LeMahieu has walked twice, and at this point now, the rest of the Yankees are 0 for 12 against Castillo. Four strikeouts. Make five. it five. <laughs> It is fun to watch a well-pitched game. Perhaps his best three-week run as a big league starter. And he strikes him out. Luis Castillo is no-hitting the New York Yankees through five in the Bronx. And his first start since being named to the All-Star team, Luis Castillo showing why he's an All-Star on this night. Five innings, no runs, no hits, six strikeouts, two walks. Well, here's Anthony Rizzo. The time run is at first. Line drive, there's a first base hit for the Yankees. Fairchild cuts the ball off, now bobbles it. Judge rounding third, they're going to hold him up. Um, how Rizzo hit that, I'm not sure. That ball, that was not a bad pitch at all. That was way down, 
and he just got it off the end of the bat, but he was able to pull it. That was a terrific piece of hitting by Anthony Rizzo. Grounded to second. India boots the ball. The game is tied. Judge scores. They get the out at first. Moving to third is Rizzo. It's 1-1. The ground ball came on the infield grass to India, and he booted it. Judge scores to tie it at one. And Castillo strikes out Carpenter. No hit bid spoiled. Yankees tie the game. Albert Abreu warming for the Yankees. Grounded to third, fielded by LeMayu to throw the first. Got him. Nice play by DJ LeMayu to get Solano. It's not an average play. This is a good solid play throwing against his body. Lofted into center field, coming on as Judge dives and makes the play. He took a hit away from Senzel. He raced in on a little soft pop up, dove forward, backhanded the catch. Here's Jonathan Loisaga. He has missed 47 games with right shoulder inflammation. This is his first game since May 22nd. Well, the Reds have to score here. Got a runner at third base, veteran hitter in Votto at the plate. Votto to left field, sharply base hit. India breaks and jogs home. Bam up to second, and Joey Votto has the Reds ahead. That was always a specialty for Votto early in his career. It seemed like he could hit the ball the other way on call. Farmer through the open right side hole, base hit. Pham scores, Votto waved in, throw from Carpenter in right. Cut by Rizzo, he scores, Farmer safe! Two more runs in for the Reds, a 4-1 lead. The ball is hit to Carpenter, you advance, you take the chance, you put the risk on the board. Now we go to the bottom of the eighth. Jeff Hoffman, the tall right-hander, comes on. Driven deep into right center field. That ball is gone. Oh, what a shot by Judge against the back of the Yankee bullpen wall. 4-2 Reds. Aaron Judge to deep right center field. A Judgean blast. All rise. Here comes the Judge. So Carpenter walks on four straight. That'll bring up Glaber Torres, and Glaber is the tying run. High fly ball, right field. Fairchild back, track, wall, see ya. Glaber Torres hit a two-run home run to right. It's Glaber Day. He hits a two-run home run to tie the game at four. So first and second for the Yankees. Josh Donaldson called upon by Aaron Boone to hit here for Marwin Gonzalez. Way inside, all the way to the backstop, and that got him. Boone quickly out of the dugout to see if Donaldson's okay. It had that sound, Michael, like it hit the bat and the hand. The lead runner at third base, the go-ahead run. 0-2. Struck him out. On a night where he seemed to swim upstream, Strickland settles in the most critical moment. All right, 4-4, second straight extra inning game. Drury made the final out, so he will start off the 10th inning at second base. And he sends this one into right center, base hit. Windmill is on for Drury, it gets by Carpenter all the way to the wall. Drury scores, and Votto jogs into second, and he puts the Reds on top in the 10th, five to four. Cracked fair, past the backhand of LeMayhew. Reynolds around third, green light to the plate. Back to back, two baggers by the Reds, and a two run lead at Yankee Stadium in the 10th. And Solano slugs it to left field. That's down base hit. Wave is on at third. Stevenson storms home. Throw from Gallo. Dribbles in. Stevenson slides safely. It's a three-run 10 and a 7-4 Reds lead. Yankees need three runs, though. They trail 7-4. Stan, the ghost runner at second. That one's driven to right field and deep. Going back, Naquin turning, looking, see ya! A two-run home run for Carpenter. The Yankees still alive, they're down by one. Oh, Carpenter nailed that one. A two-run blast, and the Yankees now trail 7-6. So now the drama starts to build a little bit just because the Yankees have done it so many times. Tying runs at second base, winning runs at first. Two on, two out. Sent to center, Sinzel has it red. He makes the catch, and the Cincinnati Reds come to New York and knock off the Yankees. They win the rubber match in extras, and the outstanding start of Luis Castillo gave the chance for the Reds to take the series.